Hey, what's going on? Thanks for uh, thanks for coming back. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for checking this video out and everything. And uh, we've got a lot of catching up to do and everything. So I haven't made a video in like over a month uh, but there's good good reasoning behind that one I've been very busy with photography uh, it's summer it's wedding season uh, it's also event season it's part of, it's just all the things are happening in New York City now that the summer is here and everything so I've been actually quite busy uh, I just did a big wedding a couple weeks ago <laughs> Uh, I have some a bunch of stuff lined up this summer, but the biggest reason I haven't been around is because I got stuck in London for two extra weeks. I was there for a nine day holiday, France, then London, and my girlfriend got COVID. So because of the restrictions in the United States right now with everything, we got stuck there for an extra seven days. Luckily, we have some really good people in our lives and we were able to get hotels and be fine and everything she's fine we're all fine we're all good life is back to normal now so let's just let's move past all of that and just get into today's video which is uh about a lens for my absolutely favorite favorite camera my my fuji film xt4 uh camera mirrorless camera i i've been shooting this thing came with me to London and Paris and everything was with me the entire time. Uh, I've been using it a lot. I also have my X100F that I take out with me every once in a while for more of a portable sort of thing. But when I want to take good street photos or really good photos, I take this out with me over my Canon because uh, my Canon's mostly just for work stuff. And the great thing about this, the great thing about these lines of cameras is the removable lens. So this is a Fuji 23 millimeter F2 lens uh, that I got for this system that just, you know, attaches itself right to it. It's a phenomenal lens. Uh, I love it. It's I've gotten great photos. Uh, I've, uh, here, let's just look at a couple of photos I got from my time overseas. So most of those were shot with uh, F, you know, uh, the Fuji XF series lenses, specifically my 23 millimeter and my 35 millimeter. Uh, 23 millimeter on a crop sensor is 35 millimeters, and the uh, 35 millimeter I had is a uh, full frame equivalent to a 50 millimeter, so a good focal length. I also uh, used my girlfriend's zoom lens, and then I bought myself a zoom lens when I got back because I, I really love the benefit of zooming. The 33 1.4 lens is very expensive, uh, but I also wanted to have, you know, I, I've, I've shoot film, I, I, sh I still shoot film, I've shot it before, and I, I love that aesthetic. And, you know, uh, I, I do as much as I can to make this f digital feel film. I have diffusion lenses on here that give me that kind of like uh, blown out high. It's fine gives that that blown out highlights look that you know you get from classic vintage lenses uh, but I wanted to take it a step further and uh, I wanted to also find something that wasn't super expensive so I bought an adapter for my Canon FD lenses but I use those mostly just for my 35 millimeter camera and then I bought a Helios lens 44 millimeter the one with like the swirly bokeh uh, I haven't used that too much but the ones I came across uh, are a by a company called TT Artisan they are a Chinese company that make lenses they make cheap cheap lenses and it shows at points in the images but all around i got this 35 millimeter f 1.4 solid metal clicky ring smooth focusing lens for i think 73 dollars and today we're just going to kind of go over uh with photo samples the benefits and the non-benefits of it. So I took this lens and the other 23 millimeter lens that I also purchased from B&H and went to Astoria Park and just shot a bunch of photos. But I also took this with the X-T4 to Coney Island and shot some photos. And I gotta say, you know, I, I was pretty, pretty blown away by the results, but let's, 
Let's check out my day over at Astoria Park, walking around, taking photos, and talk a little bit about this lens. So yeah, this lens, like I said, is a, a very cheap and affordable lens by a company called TT Artisan. If you look out on the community, there there are, are people that are really into this lens and really like it. And then there are some people that just don't like the lens at all because it's a little too soft. They're expecting the same results they would get from like an XF lens. Uh, I mean, this is manual focus too. Like you're not getting any autofocus on there. You're doing all the focusing on this camera, uh, on this lens. So some people don't like it, but I truly believe that because it's a little softer and because it's a little bit, I don't want to say cheaper glass, but less high quality glass that you would get in like a Fuji lens, I think it gives you more opportunities and better results to, to get your photos to look even more film-like. A great thing about this lens, one of the great things about this is you don't need an adapter. This is a, you know, this adapter on here fits perfectly into the X series camera. So the X mount, uh, this is built for it. So there's no need for an adapter. That wasn't the lens, that was the lens cap. I got butterfingers. You don't need to buy an adapter to make it even more bulky and heavy. And with this on, I mean, it's a great, great camera. I mean, it, it looks very vintage like, and it's super duper light and portable. So that's one benefit of it. Uh, another benefit is you get an extra stop of light and that beautiful creamy bokeh that we love so much in a lens that is $800 cheaper than some of the better Fuji lenses out there. But they mimic f like the film camera lenses really well because the film camera lenses were never super duper sharp. So you get that like kind of film looking feel with it. So I, I think they look phenomenal. So there's a couple things about this lens that I do want to go over that are not necessarily negative. They are just things to know about using this lens. One, this lens is very contrasty. Most of the images I get, uh, you know, I, I open up the, the aperture as far as I can to get that shallow depth of field. But there's a lot of contrast brought into this lens uh, that shows up in the photos. You can see it's very contrasty uh, to the point where I have to lower it in Lightroom, but it still makes for a good good image when you do edit it out. It's 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 always hard to focus a, a manual lens uh, on a camera, especially a camera that has autofocus built in. It's a digital camera. Uh, but Fuji has this great function for it when you have it set in like manual mode. If you press down on this clicker wheel right here, uh, it allows you to zoom in to what you're looking at to get like to make those fine tack adjustments. I could tell you when you're at 1.4, there's a very thin line of where you're going to be able to focus at. So being able to punch into the scene that you're looking at really helps with getting as good as sharp as focus as you can. So I highly recommend these. I'm going to leave links for both of them in the comments below. Go check them out. Uh, but I'm going to leave you with that. I'm back. Let's do some videos. We're going to do videos on different simulations, on different cameras, on different lenses. We're still going to do film, 
Not as much, but we're still going to do film for sure. I have some roles I have to develop and everything. I have a new medium format camera and everything. But I'm back. Thanks for checking this video out. If you like it, please thumbs up, subscribe, comment. I love hearing that. Check me out on Instagram. And I will see you in the next one. Remember to just shoot. And yeah, later.